Okay, the question here, Prof. Session 2, task 2, how to I locate feature setting uh, on cluster omega? Feature setting in cluster omega and how to identify start, okay, in cluster omega? Here I open the cluster omega, the, just wait a minute. I will just uh, switch. So omega, I can just search the website to cluster omega uh, website. I go to cluster omega and of course I can uh, very easily uh, discover where uh, what I would like to do with cluster omega. But uh, when I open cluster omega, I can do multiple sequence alignment. Uh, of course, let's see here, multiple sequence alignment with cluster omega and using my sequences and everything. And after that, after I did my uh, information, I will do, I will get, of course, uh, let me see here, of course, go cluster omega protein, and then put an example sequences and uh, press submit. This is the website, the API website uh, for cluster omega. Okay. Now, this is a uh, cluster omega in the API website, but what I will do that, what I will do to get the information you ask it for is going to uh, uh, Uniprot. Uniprot website is a very important website, a very easy website uh, that use cluster omega. But it can it, you can extract many information according uh, um, including the one you just asked very easily using the uh, Uniprot. So if I would like, for example, to make a multiple sequence alignment, uh, and I would like to uh, use cluster uh, use Uniprot, let us see and let us start with uh, the to make a multiple sequence alignment. Uh, using a cluster, uh, using Uniprot. From that Uniprot, you can easily make uh, a multiple sequence alignment. Uh, and also you can extrapolate this information. Let's see, for example, here, or maybe you can, uh, you can use uh, a line, a line here, with the sequence that you extracted and you would like to use here. Here, these sequences, I collect these sequences many of them, after after collecting the sequence, as you see, I just copy them, copy, control, copy, and then go to align sequence using Uniprot, and Uniprot using cluster omega. So that's why the same, uh, the same tool in the API website, you can, the same one exists in Uniprot, but you will see the difference now. I just copy and paste the sequences and then press align sequences. Let me show you again. Let me show you and uh, share with you the website. Here, I pressed here align. This is from Uniprot. Again, I can go to Uniprot. This is the website, Uniprot website. And I press align. And when I press align, this and will align any sequences I will I will put in the submission box. But I just want to remind you and uh, let you know that Uniprot using cluster omega and he only used that one, only used that program. So I will press align and then I will put here the my sequences in FASTA format. And then I will Press here a line, which is uh, a line these six sequences. Now, these six sequences will be aligned very easily here. Let me uh, see here complete. We'll show you the similar positions. Uh, of course, uh, between these uh, sequences, between these sequences, you can see it now. And if you would like, to see uh, where is, the, for example, the hydrophobic region, the hydro, uh, how many positions are hydrophobic, how, how many positions are uh, hydrophilic. All this information can be extracted from here. Uh, if you see, would like to see the percent identity, for example, uh, the, between these uh, between these sequences, you can see it here. 
if you would like to extract the, the tree, and of course, with uh, as a guide tree or a phylogenetic tree, and horizontal or circular, and for the way how it all this can be uh, get from here. It's very easy to do. Let's see this in in a, in a horizontal tree, and let's make it uh, like a phylogram the, in the branch lens uh, accordingly. So uh, let's talk about the first tab, which is overview. Here is the sequences. If I, if you would like to show or highlight some properties, you just press highlight properties. And what kind of properties you would like to show, either the similarity or you would like to show some physical properties or structural properties, depending what kind of, of, of properties you would like to show. For example, if I would like to show uh, the the physical properties like the negative positions, the negative uh, position or amino acid uh, inside uh, inside that that alignment. So I just press negative. So here uh, it showed me the negative charged amino acid across all my alignment uh, across the sequences. So it seems that these positions is uh, conserving in, in all the organisms. Also, I would like to show the positive alignment, posi positive position uh, among my alignment. I just press positive. So here it shows the positive position uh, among my sequences or uh, inside this alignment. So you can sh uh, see very clearly that positions and extrapolate them or extract them uh, to be seen uh, very uh, easily uh, for me. Also, uh, you can highlight uh, other things also, not just this, not just the positive and negative, but also the polar regions, the aliphatic regions, the aromatic regions. It depending on what you want to do, as I said to you, the, the multiple sequence alignment is a tool that can be used in bioinformatics to extract a lot of information that can be used later on uh, in your research. And depending on what you will go to do next. So all this information can be uh, extracted uh, and be seen uh, on visually uh, on, the, uh, on, the, uh, on the result. Uh, also, you can extract some uh, annotation uh, from that alignment. So depending on what kind of annotation you would like to see to see, for example, uh, in a specific sequence, you want to see the region, the the mega sheet, the mutagenesis, the helix, the turn. Let's see, for example, the turn in that sequences. Here, they did these positions show you where is the turn can be found or where is the helix can be found. Here, you can see the helix, uh, the position that could make or uh, use it, it to get the helix uh, uh, from your sequence and your protein and that protein in that sequence particularly. Here, you can also show in your uh, sequences where is, uh, uh, for example, let's see here, uh, or highlight show, for example, what is the mutagenesis part and here also you can see the conservancy show the uh, composition by the chain, for example. Here is the, the position that make chain. And stuff like this, you, you can show many things and, uh, uh, in your, uh, in your uh, strengths. When you can use specific sequence, uh, you can, this one, for example, I use in E. coli. You can use in Arabidopsis uh, and she uh, and, and show where is the region, the region, the, the region part of the uh, of the of this position. Uh, all this structure uh, can be shown easily, easily uh, in your sequence uh, using uh, the multiple sequence alignment that have been generated using cluster omega uh, in the Uniprot website. Uh, I hope this answers some of the, the this is the modified, this is the binding sites. So this is very important. This is a binding site. I would like to show the binding site, for example, and if it's conserved or not. Uh, 